Good morning, everybody. Barada Paub, good to see you all. Welcome to our daily Bible vlog here at Kimmel Bay Church. And this morning I want to encourage us from uh, John's Gospel and chapter 11. Chapter 11. And it's all to do with Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus dies, but Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, brings him back to life again. Hallelujah. The key verse in this chapter is verse, uh, verse 25. And this is Jesus speaking. He says this. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus asks. What a crucial question. Do you believe this? Do you believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life? Do you believe that even though you die, even though you come to the end of this life on earth, that if you believe in the Lord Jesus, he can raise you from the dead and you can have eternal life in him? Well, I hope you do. I hope you do. Um, that is what it means to be a Christian, to believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Well, what I want to do, I want to have a look at this account of uh, the raising of Lazarus from the grave. And I want to have a look at the different characters in the story and where they are on the faith ometer. Do they have zero percent faith, zero faith, or do they have a hundred percent faith? Absolute certainty. Um, there's a wonderful um, uh, definition of faith in the book of Hebrews. And Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 um, says this, it says faith is confidence in what you hope for and, and certainty of what you do not see. Faith is confidence in what you hope for and certainty of what you do not see. So do the characters in this, this, um, this account of Lazarus, do they have um, zero confidence, zero certainty or do they have a hundred percent confidence, a hundred percent certainty that Jesus can raise Lazarus from the grave? That he is the resurrection and the life. Well, I'm going to start with the disciples because you'd have thought, wouldn't you, that the disciples of Jesus uh, would have a hundred percent confidence in their master, their saviour and master, the one that they've been following uh, for all this time. Um, you know, they've seen miracles happen. Um, but this is what it says, this is what the disciples say when Jesus says um, that we're going to go and see Lazarus. Um, they, he says, this is what Jesus said um, in verse 11. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I'm going there to wake him up. <laughs> and the disciples say, uh, Lord, surely if he's just asleep, then it'll do him good to have a, you know, a bit of a rest if he's not well. Um, but Jesus, of course, was talking about his resurrection. Now, the disciples uh, didn't want to go back to Judea, didn't want to go back in that direction because previously they'd had a bit of a hard time. And this is what Thomas says. Oh, let us also go with him that we may die with him. You see, Thomas here is representing 0% confidence, 0% faith, 0% understanding of the situation that Jesus is going to do something grand. So we're not going to take our uh, we're not going to take much benefit from the from the disciples this morning. So let's have a look at um, Mary and Martha. Let's have a look at the sisters and let us have a, a look first of all at Mary. Uh, verse thirty, verse thirty two. This is what Mary says. She says, "Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died." Oh, okay. So Mary here believes one hundred percent that Jesus um, could have healed Lazarus if he'd have been there, if he'd have got there quicker once he'd got the message. So she has, mm, she has some faith in Jesus, doesn't she? But she believes that Jesus can heal him, but she doesn't believe that Jesus can raise him from the dead. She doesn't believe that he can do anything else. And in fact, the crowds uh, are exactly the same. Verse 37, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? So the crowds that had followed Jesus also have, shall we say, 50% faith because they believe that Jesus could heal Lazarus if he was still alive, even though he was sick. They believe that Jesus could have healed him from his sickness. But that's about it. They don't go any further than that. 
What about Martha? Martha in verse 21 says, um, if you'd have been here, my brother would not have died. So she's, she's in a pretty much the same place as Mary and the, and the people. If you'd have been here, Jesus, then you could have healed him. But Martha just goes one step further. Listen to what she says in verse 22. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Hmm. We've got a bit of confidence coming in here. We've got a bit of certainty coming in here. Let's say 75% on our faith faithometer because when Jesus declares to her that he is the resurrection and the life, she doesn't quite get it that Jesus is talking about the here and now with Lazarus, that he can actually raise Lazarus from the grave. But she does have more faith than her sister Mary. And if she does have more faith than the people. She definitely has more faith than the disciples. Oh, let's go with them and die. Oh dear. <laughs> what about Jesus himself? Does he have confidence that he can raise Lazarus from the grave? Well, this is what he says at the very beginning of the chapter when he gets the message from Mary and Martha that Lazarus is dead. Uh, um, this is that Lazarus is ill. Sorry. This is what Jesus says. Verse four. This illness will not end in death. This illness will not end in death. But verse six, when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stared. He stayed where he was two more days. <laughs> so Jesus allowed Lazarus to get sicker and to die, but for a purpose, for the glory of God, so that he could raise him from the grave. And listen to what he says to the disciples. Uh, he, he says, Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I'm going there to wake him up. Jesus has absolute 100% confidence that he can raise Lazarus from the grave. Let's go on to the raising. Let's, get, let's go on to the miracle. Jesus says to them, take away the stone, take away the stone. They say, no, don't do that, Jesus, because there'll be a bad odour because uh, Lazarus has been dead four days. Uh, but Jesus says, did I not tell you that if you believe, if you believe, if you have faith, if you have confidence, um, if you have um, absolute certainty that you would see the glory of God. So they take away the stone and this is what Jesus says. He looks up to heaven, he says, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, for I said this for the benefit of the people standing here that they may believe that you sent me. When he said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And what do you think happened? Well, if it was up to the disciples, nothing would have happened. If it was up to Mary and the people, nothing would have happened. Even Martha, nothing would have happened. But Jesus had absolute confidence. He had absolute certainty that by the power of the Holy Spirit, he could raise the dead. Hallelujah. And so, because of the words from Jesus' lips, Lazarus is raised from the dead. Take off the grave clothes and let him go. Let me go back to the, my initial question. Do you believe this? Do you believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life? Do you believe? Do you have faith? Do you have certainty? Do you have confidence? I don't want to steal any thunder from uh, my colleagues who are going to be uh, taking later chapters, but there's a wonderful verse. I think it's in chapter 14 and it says this. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Ho, ho, ho. If you ask me anything in my name, says Jesus, I will do it. What prayer have you got going around, buzzing around in your head at the moment? Well, I'm not talking about selfish prayers, but I am talking about prayers, things that you need, things where you need a touch from the king, things where you need God to break in. Well, where are you on this faith-ometer? Zero percent? If you've got zero percent faith, nothing will happen. But if you have confidence 
in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have certainty in the power of God, then ask away. Ask away. Ask for whatever you want in my name, says Jesus, and it's yours. I will do it. So pray. Go on. Press stop and go and pray. Pray for whatever it is that you want in the name of Jesus. Have a good day. Who wouldn't after that? Hallelujah.